Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Stu's Game Reviews live stream. It is uh, Sunday night, J July 16th, 2023. And uh, tonight we're going to do another... Oh, sorry, that's Eastern Time, 10.30 uh, p.m. <laughs> I'm a lot of it, I guess. I guess 7.30 p.m. on the West Coast. Tonight we're going to do another Atari 2600 stream. Uh, this time we got the game Skiing by Activision. I... Don't think I ever played this back in the day, and I probably would have like totally not been interested in it because I would have been like skiing. Like, who cares about skiing? And it's not football. I mean, it's not boxing. I got more aggressive sports than that. It's like yeah, skiing, whatever. But um, it's Activision, right? Activision generally is really good. Uh, plus, we have you know it says here like a, a new game cartridge for Atari. So this one one of the earlier titles, I guess. The boxing said the same thing on it. They used to say a new game cartridge, then eventually they would usually take this off, but not always. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's let's open it up here. We have the cartridge. A little picture of what you're seeing on the screen, essentially. And then there's a manual, I think. I hate Pirate Gear, boy. It's a fairly good one. hope there's a manual in here. There we go. Skiing instructions. So, um, I never played this. I have to look at the instructions a little bit. It says, uh, hook up your video <laughs> to turn power on. All right, solemn runs. Game one is 20 gates novice run, 40 gates intermediate run, 30 gates expert run. Okay, this is a bunch of solemn runs, and there's all downhill runs. Um, five, game five and game ten, game ten are... Um, randomized that's fine the joystick controls your position of your skis push to the left your ski tips move to the left push to the right your skis move to the right i tried to play this a little before i think it's um a little bit like tank controls i would to be a little bit to like i didn't get used to it really it's, it's a little bit confusing um power gear which is that cart label look nice yeah i've seen ones that are like really really modeled um this one has a little bit you know of wear on it it's like the, it's like the glue wears through basically so this this part of it has the glue worn through but this part of it is, is okay so I, i've seen ones that are really bad though and i try to stay away from those if i can um all right so special features of slalom racing i'm reading this here to run through all gates object to run through all gates in the past the fastest time scoring is elapsed time on timer if you a gate or tree do not lose heart your skill jump back up keep going you do lose time the red button is not used, but can be used to reset your skier at the top of the course. Okay. To put, make it run tougher, push your right difficulty switch to A. Now trees will appear on the slab course in front of the gates, not as off to the side. Why the hell would they put gates so where trees are? All right, downhill racing to reach the bottom of the fa fastest time. Now the red button is used only when your right difficulty switch is at A, and then you must push the button to make your skier jump any moguls in your path. That's interesting. I think I want to try that. Or if you put your difficulty switch down to B, your skier will jump each mogul automatically. Uh, Alright, so B... I don't know why in Atari games, B is usually the hard, the easier option and A is the harder option. You would think it would be the opposite. Hey, Gamers Grotto. See, there's a lot of Atari games that are not in your Atari collection, I think. This is probably one of them. Alright, it says, Getting the feel of skiing by Activision. Once you know the basics of skiing, we suggest you get your field controls by skiing on the slow slopes first. Start with both difficulty settings at B while you're learning. Move your joystick right and left gradually. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, it's nice. Isn't there... Okay, I'm confused now here. Um, How to Become an Expert at Skiing by Bob Whitehead. The, the controller, the guy who made this game. I... Uh, this key to success in skiing by Activision is just as in real skiing. But I have, I have the two here. This, I have the PS4 version. The key to success in skiing by Activision is just as in real skiing. Learn to control the tips of your skis, anticipating and avoiding trouble. Keep your skis pointed as straight down the hill as possible. The less you traverse across the slope, the faster you make to the bottom. Pick your line through the trees and gates by constantly looking ahead of your position toward the bottom of the screen. When you pass the next skate of trees or gates, point your skis to miss the trees or pass through the gates. Blah 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 blah. Okay, when you want to, when you want to, to get the fastest times, you just memorize the run and ski the shortest possible route down the hill. 
Okay, that's a little bit unfair, but all right. When you want to maneuver, it's just you tap your joystick lightly to the right or left, move your skis or change direction, rather than push heavily on the stick. Okay, we're organizing an Activision ski team. To qualify, you must run Slalom Course 3, game of 328.2 seconds. If you break that time, send us a picture of the screen, you'll only lose a member. If you break 28 seconds, consider yourself Olympic caliber. So there's a big difference between 28.2 and 28. Of course, not everyone wants to ski down a hill in record time. Some of you may just like to ski back and forth or down the hill at your own pace. Go ahead if you wish. I really had a great time working on skiing for Activision. I hope you enjoy playing, which I enjoyed designing it. Have fun and God bless. So, all right, let's try the game. Oh, I forgot to plug in my joystick. I, but I could play this without the joystick, but I should I should use the real, real thing here, right? Let me plug in my Atari joystick. Get ready for the pin. The pain of Atari joysticks. Alright, let's plug this into here. Okay. Plug this into here. Well, I have an Activision limited warranty also. That's really important. Let me move all this stuff over here so go away. I'll keep the manual handy. Plug this doohickey in. Okay. Joystick is in. I may have to restart Stella. I'm not sure if it'll, it'll pick up the joystick. It probably will pick up the joystick when it's plugged in, like when Stella's already running. But let's see. Stella! Oh, it actually did pick it up. But it's. Uh, okay, so twenty. So this is the not. I guess it doesn't start until you start going down. Wait a second. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Let's try that again. Jeez. <laughs> you see, it's like it's like hard to go. It's ah, go there. He goes pretty freaking fast. So I don't. I don't. Even, I don't know what's a good time on this, but. If they want 28 seconds of the other one, I assume I'm doing pretty shitty. Alright, 37.1. That's not so bad. I don't think. I don't know. Gamers Ground says, originally, originally streaming the... The light in the darkness is a point click adventure you play a Jewish boy whose parents are put in a Nazi camp. Never heard of that one. That sounds pretty uh, pretty tough there. All right, so that was the novice course. Let's try. So I want to try game three just to get an expert run. Let's try intermediate run first. This is game two. Is that consider hitting it? This is, see, I'm sucking at this, but I guess it's, it's harder because they got to move more. But you seem to memorize it because I'm, I'm going like I don't have to. You don't have to memorize the cores. At least I'm not hitting any trees. And the key, I think, is never to ever turn your, your skis. I just, like, drift. But I'm not good enough to do that. <laughs> like, I, wish, I wish I knew what a good time was for this thing. Like, am I doing it all decent, or... I have no idea. I, that took over a minute there. So, like, I have no idea if that's good or not. All right, so now I'm going to do the expert thing, which is... I, <laughs> how do you go faster? I guess you just have to never... Keep your skis pouring as straight down the hill as possible. Well, that's that's the key, isn't it? All right, so let's try uh, number three. This is going faster in general. 
<laughs> that wasn't good. At least we got the cool animation. Ah! I missed one completely. <laughs> Alright, now we see why it's expert. I'm also going just way faster in general. I missed one. 43.87 seconds. That's not anywhere near the Olympic time here. I also played television skiing, that may be a bit better. Hmm. In television, they had the sports roll pretty good. I mean, this is definitely definitely difficult. And I'm, I, if you're going to memorize like, the way it goes, that's, that's tough. <laughs> I, did, I purposely just restarted. So you can restart anytime you want. That's the hard one there. Is that is that one that... Oh, can you jump in this? You can jump, but only if you need to, apparently. Like, the, not here. Wait, the, only the down... In the Okay, hold on. In the cross... This, so I've been doing... This is the... This is the slalom racing. Let me switch the, the downhill runs. Hold on, I'll show you. Game six. So the, this is downhill skiing now, apparently. So that, that, that he just jumped. If a difficult... It's not much of a jump. Difficulty level B, which is the, the easier difficulty, he jumps automatically. In difficulty level A, you got to jump for him. But it's a pretty shitty jump. I mean, like, it's, like he barely got any air at all. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I did a study bono. <laughs> I mean, I like the crashing. Let's go back to three. Two, three. One. Hold on. So I have three to the left. It's a free PS5 game by Jewish Historical Society. Teach gamers through interactive media about the brutal history the Jews reflected on them. Well, they didn't really reflect the history upon them. I, I know what you mean. Okay, I'm going too fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I gotta, I gotta figure to do that without, without like, going drifting like that. It really, think requires a light touch. See, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So I went too, too, went too late. It's really, it's really hard to do this actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Damn it! There's only freaking thirty things. It's, it, it's, it's hard to do this. That just changed direction. That's not what I wanted. Fuck. <laughs> All right. I gotta keep. I gotta keep trying this here. Wait, how could that time he did that? That's respectable, considering that 28 seconds is the, is the time to beat. That wasn't too bad. I like that there's more some games. You well, know, what's the point if I'm trying to beat a time? Like, if I know that I can't, if I already like blew it, 
I, I think in order to do this, you got to, like, literally have your skis straight the whole time. You can't ever go diagonally, which is, like, almost impossible. But that's, that's, the, that's the gist of this game. Hey, Andy. How's it going? Andy says, Atari skiing? Wow, it's like I'm actually there. Yeah, it's more like you're watching um, the Olympics on a black and white TV in 1950. <laughs> you squint to get your for realistic. Fuck! I, that's that. See, I already, I already blew it if I do that. <laughs> I gotta get the hang of like doing that that turn. No, no, not like that. Uh, hey, Dorian. Looks like that gave early versions of Windows one with that Yeti that's yeah ski free. Probably made by the same guy. Oh, yeah, I already blew it. I, I blew it like in the first second. Not happy with that. Definitely happy with that. Oh, come on. I was that without. It's called me Sunny Bono. Yeah. I guess in order to win, you have to actually go between the flags. It doesn't, like, really penalize you, which is interesting. It's like, okay, you, you want to do that? Fine. Want to be a dipshit? That's total waste. All right, I got, I got to memorize the course better. Come on, let's crash your tree. <laughs> it doesn't even hurt. <laughs> it's not that guy. What was his name? <clears throat> Excuse me. No, no, no. The button, by the way, the button resets the game because they, don't, they want to make it really easy to reset the game. Why is he doing that? Right, I gotta figure out why he keeps doing that. No, no, that's not right. No. I think it depends how hard you hit, to how hard you hit the button. No, 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 no. I'm not happy with that. <sighs> Guys, I don't know how entertaining this is to watch, but do the best I can here. <laughs> Who's putting all the laughing emojis? You really gotta like hit that button very sparingly. Fuck that! I already fucked it up. No. <sighs> this is great. Keep going. <laughs> Guys, it was Chris Pira. Okay. Oh my God! No! How did I forget that? Let's go, let's, go, let's go look at the rest of the course. I can see what's, what else is after that. Then it goes there, then there. Then it comes curving into the right here. And then back to the left. It's a pretty long course. Gives me entertaining to cross some stew range. You know what's causing it? Oh, what are you doing? 
Don't do that. It's up. I don't understand the controls, honestly. That's part of the problem. <laughs> I remember playing Ski back in the day. Was it this one? I feel like any time your skis churned, you fucked. You lost already. Like this. I already, like, lost the game. Like, I can't get by, but look. My time is slowly ticking away. Dare to ski. Well... There is, like, instructions, but the controls don't really work the way they're supposed to. But I think you're right. Once you get the feeling... I remember I played Laser Blast, and I thought it was, like, freaking impossible. And once I once I finally understood the controls, it became super, super easy. Let me read this again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tap your joystick to the light, right or left, move your ski or change direction. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah, Laser Blast is brainless, but, like, most people that I see play the game, including myself the first time, like, I had no, I, I had no clue what to do. I was getting killed immediately. And, like, most people I see play the game, they get killed immediately, and then they steer their ship down and destroy one of the bases, and then that, that, that's all they know how to do. Laser Blast is brilliant. That sounds so intellectually stupid. That's funny. You should watch my stream on Laser Blast if you haven't seen it. You probably did, but if you haven't... Not gonna cut it. <laughs> Look how I'm steering here like shit. Ah, that wasn't gonna happen. You get the shooting power down. You can basically be there. Yeah, that's what that's what I that's where I was when I was playing it. I could have got a million points if I wanted to. You all gamers grow. I was teaching. I forgot I was teaching the class. I thought you really Phantasmagoria. <laughs> I did fail this class. What class was this? What was this in college? I wish you would fucking turn when I press the button. This, 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 I have a real problem with this. Let me show you something here. If I tap the button once he goes like this right if i tap the button twice once twice three times he goes like that that makes sense now the problem is if i tap the button like this again okay sorry this this makes him change direction right he changes direction like changes his orientation left not like that left right come on there. Oh, come get the fucking trees out of the way. Let, I'm trying, I can't just demonstrate this because there's no like place to ski. Let's try this again. He changes orientation if I tap it left and right. But if I tap, so if I tap it left once, he just changes the orientation. If I tap left twice, he starts moving. A third time makes him do that, right? If I tap left twice, then right once, 
it makes him stop. That's what that short should do. But I feel like, see, that time I tapped left twice and he, he already went to that way. It's not consistent. It's not cons That's the problem I'm having. It's not consistent. Sometimes I, I tap it twice and I get this. Sometimes I tap it twice and I get that. It depends, I guess, how long you hold it. It's not just about, so I, I have to really tap it a little bit better. I'm tapping it too hard or something. That's the problem. You gotta really get like a light touch on the on the thing here on the wheel. What are you guys talking about? Be a treeless mod for the game. It was graphing class. What else graphing class? But you can't win like this. You, the only way you're going to win is if you manage to like tap it properly. In my opinion. <laughs> Old class of making crafts. <laughs> he went to a remedial school, Doria. It wasn't for very bright children. <laughs> you all like that. I'm going around <laughs> these, <laughs> these flags. Man, 30.04. That's a better time than I had last time, by like two seconds. But, I, but I'm telling you, I don't think it's possible to get the perfect, like the good time, unless you... I mean, I find it I find it amazing that he says, to qualify, you have to run it in under 28.2 seconds. And if you break 28 seconds, consider yourself Olympic calibers. That means a two-second difference. No, a 0.2-second difference between just qualifying for the stupid Activision ski team and being like the best player ever in this game, it sounds like. I need the patch. You see the little patch is hurt. <laughs> I mean, I agree, but this may be a longer stream than I thought. refuse to become one of the value you'll never make it <laughs> you might see the class of blueprint for boredom that's fine I gotta remember like where these fuck I gotta really memorize the course too is the other problem like that and that was not a good memorization technique You lose so much time hitting something, you definitely lost at that point. So I gotta start like sh swerving back before I get all the way there. Like I could have cleared that really easily. I'm just being stupid. Like that one, for example. There's so much space. If you know what's coming, it's definitely doable. But you really have to memorize the course. That's the problem. You sound like you had a great uh, teacher, Graver's Grotto. Fuck. Yeah, but I was just trying to do that. What about the dream cleaner part? What dream cleaner part? The college teacher talked about what college did you go to. <laughs> 
<laughs> My grandfather liked to work around naked. Another great school. De definitely a bastion of higher learning. Oh, really? I didn't ever play Phantasmagoria. I played just like the first chapter, and that was it. Gotta stop doing that. Seven in a row, and then I get a swerve to the left again. Yeah, that's why I didn't see it, because I didn't play the second chapter. This is goddamn hard. You beat the game in one sitting? You want to come and show me how it's done? Maybe you give me some tips. Oh, I missed that one. That was shitty. God damn it. Really, merely because the Hint Keeper? Oh, you're talking about Phantasmagoria or you're talking about skiing? You're talking about skiing. You're talking about Phantasmagoria, then you can suck it. This game has a hint system. <laughs> don't, how about don't ski the flags? It's another good hint for you. I don't think I'm able to do anything about it either. Phew, did I get through that one? I'm not sure if I did. I wasted too much time skiing around there. Well, there's so much full motion video, that's why it's, uh, it's shorter than you expected. It wasn't a marketing ploy. It couldn't fit the stuff on less, on, on less than that, but it doesn't mean that there's tons of content. All right, so, so, what, so what does that mean? How do you know you missed something, just that the counter is a decrement? Yeti. Try it, guys.
This is like games done quick. Doing a speed run. I'm not usually much one for but I'm not much for speed runs usually. That's why I'm sucking this up. No. My best time yet, twenty less than thirty seconds, twenty nine point forty seven. I don't believe that's due given other FMV. Well, probably because they just didn't know how to compress it properly. But 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 that's not true though. You're you're that's incorrect. Remember that most FMV games, it was a static background, and then you'd go up to something, and then occasionally there'd be some video, some guy would talk to you or something. But in Phantasmagoria and Gabriel Night Two, the whole freaking thing was FMV, including the character walking around. It was third person. Every single fucking thing she did, excuse my language, was required some kind of video cutscene. So, of course, there was way more video than a typical FMV game. The third person made a tons of extra video. I mean, like, I mean, like Harvester, I guess, was also the first person, third person. Shut up. It's like, uh, What's it called? Uh, language, Steve. <laughs> Go ahead and swear away. I don't. I don't. I don't mind the swearing. Just like I always imagine, like someone's gonna like look me up and find like all the swearing I do on this channel and be like, "Gee, we're not employing this guy ever again." <sighs> How many swears do I know? Probably more than you. Gotta really memorize this course better. Steve Swag super cutting coming. <laughs> it might get me like the uh, the million you know subscribers I've been looking for. Ah crap! I was doing so well too. If I use save states, I'm sure I could do this. See, that's a problem if I forget where I'm going. <laughs> the Egypt's Kids board game part? <laughs> there's a lot of angry moments in my streams, just... There's been no super cut made so far. at that point. Sometimes it gets lined up like perfectly. Other times it doesn't. It needs to be lined up basically perfectly. We have a chance of winning. Like that. My best score so far, 29.29. .29. Can I get into the 28s? One of my favorite moments when Stuart Stuart had to cut off Dory Explorer's head, the rust had changed. So I don't think that happened. That's the, 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 I, I have enough good moments that you making stuff up. That. 
They bad to get with some of those two Dora. I, I'll do Dora again. I'm not done with Dora. Just, I just done with it for today. That's all. He'll start singing the songs. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. See, I just push the stick a little bit too hard. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to nudge it. But you, you don't nudge it not hard enough and you're fucked. So it's like... You get used to nudging it a little bit too hard. What's a good pace here? You gotta basically get like one... Theoretically, every second you should get one mogul if you're doing it properly. One one flag, I mean. And when you don't, like that, it's an indication you're screwing it up. This is why D-pads are invented. It definitely is harder with the Atari joystick, I will say. The other day, Paul Steller from College with Curtis was shooting full throttle. I made jokes tell horrible dad jokes while I played the game. Did he, did he tell horrible dad jokes? Yeah, you're, with a, this would be so much easier with a D-pad, actually, now, now that I think about it. Because I would, I would never, have, like, be doing these. I wish I could just control much pressure I put on the joystick. That's the See, like, he doesn't go sometimes at all. If I don't give enough pressure, he won't go at all. And at too much pressure, then he starts going like this. And, I, and that's that's the problem. Easier with arrow keys, too, probably. But true Olympic skiers don't use arrow keys, unfortunately. Is this paddle compatible? I don't think so. I gotta get that right. No, why are you doing that? There, yeah, that's how you do it. Unfortunately, you fucked up that one. No, no. Why? Why'd you do that? Balance board compatible. This is Guitar, guitar Hero controller compatible. It's only compatible with one thing. That. That's what it's compatible with. Died or something. Keep fucking that up. Forget which way to go. It's really hard, guys. This is really, really hard.
I don't mind this game. It looks fun. Uh, nicely. But it doesn't even have the real, like, Activision logo. Usually it has, like, those with the colors or whatever. It looks easy. It looks easy, I know, but it's not easy. Trust me. I know you're bullshitting me, too, but... I mean, it looks... It does look easy. I, I will admit it. Is there a way to actually... I wonder if that's interesting. No. I can't control myself well enough to do that. You know, I was trying to see if I could just barely... Slip through there. Oh, you can't. There's no way to. There's no way to get through that without moving. I thought maybe you could. The main problem is the controls aren't responsive. The main problem is the controls are too responsive. That's really the issue. Hey, Jim, how's it going? The controls are too responsive because... Jim says that's on purpose. Did you design this game, Jim? Oh, by the way, Gamers Grotto, are you still there? Because you reminded me of something. Fuck you. I can't... It, it's not consistent the way it works. I guess it's consistent, but it's not. it doesn't behave according to my expectations. You look at the code, there is hysteresis. What's hysteresis? Is that where they take someone's uterus out? What was here, Stu? Well, Gears Ground, on your stream, you said you don't like Activision. <laughs> Always just like, this is a whole mound to ski out. Why do you keep hitting the flags for her? <sighs> I wish I was like this guy here. But, um,. Classic Activision, Gamers Grotto. They were, like, the best. I mean, they they started, like, the whole third-party software developer thing, and they had a lot of amazing games. I got my fan on. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Yeah, don't like Modern Activision. Okay, well, Modern Activision is not, is not Activision. I don't know what the hell they are. I don't care about Modern Activision. Hysteresis is when a delay between action and results is deliberate or intentional. You look at the code for this. You know Atari 2600 Assembler, Jim? It's not really delay. The problem is it's over. It's it over. It overcompensates. If I try to do this a drop, it'll like go this so fast before you're, you're even ready for it. Do, 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 do. Turn the fan to feel it really big on the slopes. That's funny, actually. Christ. See, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And I just nudged it one time, but it still decided to go all hog the other direction. So she like 27 pieces of your little 6502. Oh, wow, cool. That's really cool. You're a man of many talents, sir. That count? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> really got to get one a second. There's like no, 
there's there's almost no room for any type of like delay whatsoever. So if, if you're ever skiing not straight, you're basically killing yourself. If you do for more than like half a second, you're dead. Like that's I you know can plaque attack you bore the people. Who cares? Like why plaque attack specifically? He's so hard to control you, damn stupid bastard. It's the best time I've got so far. 29.10. The best ports are moving. That's how they only involve vertical scrolling. Not unless that was moving on the plate. How about this one? I guess that's what you looked at. <laughs> that's what you looked at, right? I see the delay you're talking about. I think that was that was a, I had a good shot of that one, but I blew it. It's a little bit cathartic to watch him like crash to the to the, the things though. What training training games do I enjoy and or think I'm skilled at? Well, I'm skilled at Pitfall too, and I enjoy that one quite a bit. Um, adventure. Wait, wait, well, these, these are two different lists. Enjoy or think I'm skilled at. Frostbite I never played back in the day. I kind of remember this hysteresis thing. That's really the key here, actually. That I'm not hitting the poles. That, I should not have to do that. Like, if I have to do that there, then I'm really fucked. Um, yeah, Pitfall, Pitfall 2, Adventure. Those are probably my favorites. Um, but I like a lot of them. There's a lot, a lot of the, I mean, a lot of the new homebrews are really cool. But just in terms of old school stuff... Um... Keystone Capers, I, I love that game. All these games I mentioned, I've not, I've not streamed it on this channel. Um, some of the Star Wars games I was fond of. I have finished Pitfall too. Um, what else? I mean, there's like a lot of them, but like, like River Raid is fine, but like, I, I don't like love it. Kaboom I never was a big fan of, but there's a bunch of other Activision games I'm not thinking of right now. I always liked the basketball and the boxing, I thought the, even though those were cheesy. Yeah, I helped you a little bit. Oh. I count better. I gotta, not I gotta not stop so early when I do that. That's how you do it. That's not how you do it. <laughs> He's so capable of creating. You never catch the thief, really? I always find that game to be very easy.
But then again, you must be better at this than me. I keep fucking something up because I keep forgetting to turn. It makes a difference which way this guy is turned. See? That's what I keep forgetting. So I do a movement and he doesn't move because he's, he's just trying to turn back the way he was. No, I see that. That's the hysteresis. I, I, I overcompensated that time because I thought he wasn't going, but he was. At that time, he wasn't. <laughs> Sorry if I'm boring you guys. I'm trying my best here. I, just, I did my best. But I guess my best wasn't good enough. Does going down do anything? No, it doesn't. Pressing down does absolutely nothing. Just once. I'd like to clear this thing in under 29 seconds. But I realized that I suck so bad. Damn. Nice word Frankenstein adventure. <laughs> Probably a lot of people would, but this is real skill, by the way. No, Kirk. The game's not over. Damn it. I am slowly getting the hang of it. <laughs> Who's giving me those emojis? Yeah, last the record virgin. That's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> Who else has seen that movie besides me and Jim? That was not a she movie. That 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 kid that couldn't get a break. Oh my god. I can't believe someone else has seen that movie. Oh you've seen a lot of movies, Jim. <laughs> last American Virgin, Fire Gear Boy. It's an old movie. Like old from like 1980 or something. It's a shitty movie. Oh, I almost had that. I just blew it. gut-wrenching final turn <laughs> basically like this guy like there's like three guys like like the, the, the protagonist that he has like a big fat friend and then there's this like the, the stud guy and the stud guy comes getting with all the girls that the protagonist wants including the one he, he feels he's in love with and then like he gets her pregnant and then this protagonist loser guy pays for her to have an abortion and then thinks that um she's gonna now like be like um, grateful to him and she'll go out with him but she just goes right back to the guy who knocked her off basically that's that's the overall plot of the movie and then it ends off with him like walking off in the sunset crying basically and it's like I did my best but I guess my best but they play that song like five times during the movie because no matter what he does he's like a loser basically um, but that's that's but there's a lot of funny parts of the movie. That's the thing. If if that was the whole movie, then like I would definitely like say don't ever waste your time like even thinking about it. But there's some funny stuff too. Six point three at IMDb. Most people have never even heard of that movie. So like the, the people are, like what is Porky's rated on IMDb? That's what I want to know. Damn, damn, damn. It really is interesting how this works. 6.2? Alright, well, that, there you go. Because Porky's is a, is a wonderful movie. I mean, don't watch it if you're under 18, but... 
If you're not, if you're, if you're over 18, it's a wonderful movie. Damn it. Working the truck. Right, so I'm saying, I should have walking off to the sunset, but I guess he's driving away. <laughs> Porky's the Atari is good too. I streamed that already once before. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. That's the best score so far. 28.87. I actually broke 29. Whew. This is damn hard, guys. It really is a lot of memorization, though. It's 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 getting the controls, like, perfect, and also trying to remember what the hell to do, because... Not quite good enough for the Activision Ski Team, though. No, no, it says, um... If you break 28, if you get less than 28, you're, it says, consider yourself Olympic caliber. To qualify for the Activision Ski Team, you have to do it at under 28.2. 28.2 seconds. Oh, man. I gotta go get it, like, fill up my drink. I'll be right back, guys. Hang on one second. And then we'll continue this shenanigans. Jim says, uh, Jeff to Jet Lee or Stu, they're only 20 seconds to get you down. They're just state machines. Uh, Gamer's Grass and Rude, the man leaves. I need a break anyway. Like, you think I can just keep, like, like trying this over and over without a break at all? You left a thumbs down. I was you to leave. Just personally, really, I, I understand how this works now, but it's, it doesn't make it any easier. You gotta like really be a good skier. You gotta drift. See, that was not the way to drift. They got tires were kind of quick then, and moved on to pitfall. Yeah, I mean, I would do the same thing if I wasn't trying to qualify for the Activision Olympic team. That's the only thing that's keeping me going. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the longest thing on this late skiing. The Atari 2600. <laughs> I'm going too late. The pr part of the problem is I'm going too late. I gotta, like, go earlier. Like, as soon as this shit starts, go, start going. You need plenty of time to get there if you go a little bit later. 
world. Not like that. Like that. That's how you gotta do it. Not like that. I gotta remember where I need to be also, like in the track. Even if it's the same track every time, theoretically I should be able to do it, but I'm just the spaz sometimes. That see that 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 like zigzagging is killing me. I gotta remember where where I am. Like where's the right spot to be sitting in? And then I won't have any problem. And then it's a matter of scale they think to obey my controls. <sighs> like that time it didn't. You the bangles play he shoot into the background. Imagine quick tie events in your head. That's not gonna help at all. Like beep quick B B they say put quick tie events like That's how you play quick tie events, it's a completely different thing. I mean the good thing is I am getting better. Right? Good run! That was a good run! Oh man! It wasn't a great run, but it was a good run. Quite hear Yoko Oda see the background. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not random. I am getting better. Even if I mess up like that sometimes, I'm getting better. See, I'm, I'm doing consistently well the first few, you notice that? There's only fucking 30 of these. These are like the Superman 64 of the Atari. <laughs> you know that? You realize that? <laughs> this, is basically, this is Superman 64 in, in 1980. There's no time to waste. Lex wins. Ah! Wait, seriously, this is your man 64. Isn't this your man 64? <laughs> you must solve my rings, Superman. Wow, that actually worked. Ooh. I want to show you, the fact that that was 2866, you know what that tells me? First of all, that's the best score I've got so far, but you know what else it tells me? It needs to be a perfect run. It needs to be perfect. Because that time, that was almost a perfect run. There was one time my skis were like that. That must have cost me a while but, but from that, but like, that was almost a perfect run. Always to sleep is trolling me on Twitch. I'm glad someone's on Twitch. Sir, are you trying to imagine yourself as the mountain? I try to imagine myself as the skier. Oh, that's gonna help. the Guinness Book of Records stand by. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm sure other people have done it. I'm sure lots of other losers have done it. No! It's 
hard to tell when he's going to move and when he's not going to move because there is a delay. Jim was right about that. No. Todd Rogers totally has. It's a score's probably in there. Regardless if he has or hasn't. At least each game is only 30 seconds, so if I fuck it up, you guys don't have to watch for too long. It's not like there's too much dead man walking occurring here. 30 seconds or less, I should say. No, come on. Stop that. Get all kinds of nostalgia. Cut off four is a sea of activists to play this. Probably at gunpoint. Yeah, I'd like to try that. I mean, we should have Bob Whitehead play it, the guy who made it. Let's see him do it. That's what I'd like to do. If I can force him to play at gunpoint, it would be him. I'm getting, I'm getting frustrated now. Sometimes it behaves the way I want it to, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it's really fickle. No, no, no. Don't do that. I mean, is there any point in me continuing the run once that happens? I like, probably not. I think I, I think it literally has to be perfect. I wish I knew why sometimes he goes, sometimes he doesn't. Mm. Actually, okay, let's, 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 let's test something here. If I'm going down this way, I can't, okay, I can't turn. Game assumes you're even skiing in real life. You want to control yourself? Yeah, basically. I mean, probably somebody who actually is a skier might have an easier time with this than me. Oh, that was interesting. He just sort of went out of the side there. Skill real life, the markers are. Yeah, it's, it's a good point, by the way, because if I had a little bit more visibility until it was coming, and have to just memorize it, it would definitely be a lot easier. Fuck you. No! Wait a second. So you can't turn. It can stop you moving. I'm still trying to fully understand the mechanics. You're better off going more and then coming back sometimes. Like it's sometimes it's better to like Make this make the thing go further. I think just the way that no, 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 no. I promise you, I just look at the hang of this. Hard to get through that one without 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 skiing in that direction. Keeping it a downhill. Is 
Is that the best time? I think last time I twenty eight sixty eight. Is that right? I think I beat it by one millisecond. Am I correct? Does anybody remember? Yeah, sixty six was the last time. Oh, one millisecond longer. Damn it. I'm going to try now to just be one with the board. That was so good if I had hit that one. Fuck. Lucky. Come on. Sometimes he doesn't go. The controls are very unfair, in my opinion. But, like, I'm determined to do this. If I don't do it today, I'm going to do the stream tomorrow. Like, I don't give a shit. Part two, yeah, there will be a skiing part two. Actually, you know, what I'll, you know, what I'll probably do. I'll probably like just do it myself offline. I'm never gonna give up until I do it. It just might not be on the stream, but then I'll have to do it again on the stream to prove I can do it. I guess my hands are starting to get tired. That's a problem. It, it took me this long to learn the mechanics, and like, but I've been going for an hour already. A screenshot is not proof anymore. I think only proof is doing it live. Scheme part three pairs be Superman sixty four. <laughs> How many people are watching this? Is it just like the two three of you guys or four? Or is it like a couple more people? Might do a stream. If you do that Jewish adventure game, I'll watch it. I mean, I'm intrigued. It sounds like like a shit show, though. It sounds like they're gonna get fucking like attacked by the Anti Defamation League or something. guys getting bored yet? If, if you guys are getting bored, tell me and I'll stop. I don't want to like be streaming for nobody. <clears throat> Excuse me. The graphics aren't good. I mean, so what? Come on. I started hitting the button for some reason. I don't know why. Stop hitting the button, Stu. Too fast, or doesn't go at all. 
I must be like just getting excited though, because I seem to be able to do it on the first one, so no difference. That first one seems so easy now compared to the what follows it. Yeah. That time I did what I wanted to do, but not it didn't work. I'll be calling you back like way before. Ah. Ah. I gotta, I gotta get a little better at that skiing back and forth business. I just like practice it like this, <laughs> like that exactly. Yeah, is, are you frustrated? I'm frustrated, but are you frustrated also, Eddie? I'm trying the best I can. That's all I gotta say. And obviously, like I'm not pathetic. I'm like almost good enough to do it. But it might not be quite good enough. At least not today. Oh, stop doing that. I wish I could, like, like force it never to do that. Like, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Why? So am I fucking tapping it? That go in? I got a few. <laughs> it's not like freaking Sarah Live. I got a fever. And the only prescription. A 28.2, a better run. Hey, listen, uh, I put my ski pants on one leg at a time, just like the rest of you guys. You just tried, you got 30.39. So what's your point? This is like a contest who does this first. Oh, are you using a real are you using a real Atari joystick, Pirate Gear Boy? Because if you're not, then don't even talk to me. <laughs> if I had a, like a more precision control, it would be a little bit different. Using arrow keys, yeah. Arrow keys can jump in the lake. I know there's a time to be well, I mean there is there's a time to be only if you want to join the Activision ski team. You don't care about the Activision Ski Team. You don't need to beat the time. Well, N64 controller might be legitimate, given that it's a Superman 64 controller. so close that was so close it really requires a very light touch but not too light <laughs> why 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 I can only imagine that happens when I'm getting too excited or something. Fuck. What's the right place to ski down there? Is it where the, the zero is of the score? I mean, it's where that 
the two dots are. I gotta figure out where the right place is to ski over there. Right, next time I get there, I gotta look at that. Tell B your joystick, this is what they mean. Thanks, Gamers Grotto. You know, Al Lowe was on my challenge, you remember that? <laughs> I'm looking to educate me. No, why would you do that? You dumb. I wish I could, like, beat this guy. Seriously, I wish I could whip him. Every time he fucks up. You idiot. Zero. No! Didn't they ask you to do that, you... Joysticks be like be like beating with something in a minute. The next demonstration, we're gonna open up this cartridge and see how to destroy the thing inside of it. Second run. Don't Stu. Don't you want to play freaking games, Stu? You suck, Stu. You suck. You think you're good at Atari? You fucking suck. You're an embarrassment to every single person watching this thing. Get Bob White on stream. Yeah, that'd be nice. There's no bad actual pattern. So there's a pattern. It's like memorize what's on the screen. And like, I hope you like the speed. See that? He didn't go at first. And then when I... That was bullshit. Of course, he didn't go... At, ugh, you know why? It's, it's my fault for hitting the joystick too hard. I overcorrect when like he's not going. I get panicked. And it's, like either, it's like either now or never. We'll get the hang of this eventually. That was not good. That was not good either. At least I'm in the right spot now. <laughs> It'd be easier with the keyboard. I think it would be much easier with the keyboard, but I'm not sure. Cause I, not, probably not now, because I've been spending so much time with the joystick. But I think in theory it would be easier with the keyboard. The keyboard is not really an option. I want to get through that. Why did you do that? 
guys, I'm sorry. I'm really trying here. I'm really trying. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm letting all the viewers down today. I'm literally doing the best that I can. Oh, you can't you, you can't do it with the keyboard either. You can match that choice like a fishery of master's bait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's clearly the case. Uh, uh. I mean, really, you gotta master the joystick. What do you have about to complete another round? What happened? Surely you should have to complete it, even if you're slow. You crashing? Stop! Stop doing that! Getting really annoyed. I'm starting to get cranky. <laughs> Would that count? You gotta really like give him such a super. You have a light touch but a fast touch at the same time. That's, I think part of the time dying is right. My touch is light but it's not fast enough. I'm going to keep going because I want to see what happens here. No, it's, it's not, you can't do it like that. This is embarrassing. This is a keyboard run. <laughs> this is a point. I'm just doing this to mess around, but. Definitely a little bit easier with the keyboard. But not necessarily easy enough. I, I, I'm sure the keyboard I could do it faster. I mean, like I get, I'll be able to succeed with less time, like eventually with the keyboard. But, but it's not that would be a true success because there's no keyboard in Atari, guys. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm like, oh, you do with the keyboard. It has a keyboard controller, but it's, this game does not support it. I think there's only one game that supports the keyboard controller. And it's not this one. It's so hard to make this guy do what you want him to do. Like literally, you gotta do it in increments like that, otherwise he doesn't go. And I gotta practice this thing a little bit. You gotta want to stop. What if you go this way? Want it to stop? What it to, well, that turned the bad stop though? Like in theory, theory, if I if I really had a good touch on this, I could make him always do what I want, which is really hard.
I lack touch. I don't have the touch. Do, do, do. I don't have the power. I feel like I'm just really shitty at this game. I want it to work differently than it does. I want it to be like much more arcadey. But it's really not. Just do it. Only up doesn't do anything, right? Only down doesn't do anything. You gotta just be in the fucking zone somehow. Not what I wanted. He really starts like that. <sighs> you guys tell me if I should give up. Abandon hopes of being on the active and ski team. I really can't, honestly can't believe it requires such a perfect run. I'm really forgetting what I'm doing here. It could be three more hours. Why, why, why? First says it's the key to success. Some guy I can't remember the name of. What does that tell you about it? About his success? If I have to keep doing that every time I want to turn, I, I have no chance of doing the, past the steeper ones. That's the problem. A gamer's grind, you really have to memorize it. There's no way to do it just by reaction time. And it's literally impossible. It's successful, you not marry their name. Gotta be perfect. Stop on a dime. You gotta fucking stop on a dime. You gotta stop on a fucking dime. Why do you do that? You know what? I'm like the worst skier in real life too, so this is really appropriate to be honest. This is honestly totally appropriate. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't know what's gonna happen. Is it cheat code? <laughs> I don't think there's a cheat code. There's not enough time. You, you got you gotta just you gotta go faster. And there's no time to do it like 
precisely like I'm trying to do it. You have to like do it perfectly. I mean, I've been amazed actually. Like I can't, I can't get that. With the, with the amount of speed that I'm required to do this in. Yeah, I would have had that if I didn't overcompensate. There's two ways to fuck up. You can do this a bunch of times, or you can just hold it for too long. You would think if I always just never did it more than tapping, he wouldn't go that way, but that's how it works. He will go that way. really bothers me is that like I was so close to a perfect run and that wasn't good enough I think it's not fair this game demand complete perfection I really like to see someone do, like from Activision do this and I guess I'll shut up I, someone go on YouTube is there like a somebody like a somebody who's actually done this successfully it must be right You found a video so I do in twenty fourteen. That guy did it say how many times he tried it? <laughs> did he play for like hours, days, years? Two next week when Stu's ever screw you some of the joystick he smashed. How many views does it have? Just out of curiosity. Like, is it a popular channel or just a random guy? Just trying for a week to qualify the Activision Passion Scheme. Finally did it. Yeah, that sounds about right. If I if if I had more Patreon supporters, I'd be like, you know, join my Patreon and I'll beat this Activision thing for you. But nobody gives a shit anyway. Even if I had more Patreon supporters, they wouldn't care. I wonder how high this guy cheered. Like how loud this guy cheered once he did it. Took about a week. Well, it did take about a week. I mean, I've only been doing it for a, a day. Never played this game before ever. Uh, oh, he was going. He was going. All right. Let's try to remember that. Uh, that was okay. I learned a valuable lesson there. Not that time, though. Ooh. 
Ooh. I stumped his feet trying to still screw you. <laughs> Don't do that. I, c I can't figure out sometimes the. Too far. The guy that interviewed does have one. What? I wasn't hold on. Just use Patreon. I'll store Activision and pay the CEO's head. Oh, he has a Patreon. You know, how many subscribers does he have? I didn't follow my own rules. Hold on. I'm trying to establish a better way to do this. I like that. I think there's a Patreon. Eh? Probably has more patrons than I do. Why did you do that? Christ, I can't believe that. I thought that was really good, and I and I and it could even be twenty nine seconds. I thought that was actually really like until the end. I thought I was doing really well. A friend told me he has his Twitch subscribers for money. He could buy dinner for himself yesterday. <laughs> and I think these are rude awakening. I think I'm getting the hang of it though. mistake. I didn't mean to do that. Come on, be consistent. If it doesn't use consistent amounts of pressure, then it's really impossible. It's just playing just good luck at that point. He actually paid for his dinner? Really? How come you guys didn't pay for my dinner? Ah, damn it. That's a tough curve there, but it's it's possible to get the hang of it. That's not what I wanted to do. No, that's all I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do either. That's what I wanted to do. I gotta be perfectly lined up. It's so hard to do that. And I gotta count. I remember to count. Does my wife cook for me? Sometimes. She feels like she's in the mood. She always cooks for my kids, but. So there's definitely an inverse correlation between how much you stream and how much you cooked for. Ugh.
Oh, why did I do that? The Al Bundy diet. The Al Bundy diet isn't it just like she does bon bonds? That's it. Bon bon. I'm getting better. I do think I gotta break the joystick though. Hey yellow snow. Hey there, pig. Hi, Al. Why are you such a dumb bitch, pig? I know why he put up with her. Like, I don't know why he, like, stayed with her. He, he didn't love her at all, obviously. And the kids were, were no bargain either. I'm getting better, but not better enough. It's a dysfunctional fa I know it's a dysfunctional family, but like, I still don't understand why they still eat together. It was Jefferson also, right? Steve was the first guy, right? He always, like, made fun of her. Like, he's like, Hey, Marcy, uh, your legs look like a chicken. Ha 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 Like, well, that, that one, like, wasn't funny. It made it seem like he thought she was, like, hideously ugly, and she wasn't. Garrison live married. Oh, really? He was the guy who played Steve. I mean, they're, were they not nice people in real life? Guess what? They were not nice people. Or right, the guy who played Steve. Was close. There must be a better way to do this than the way I'm doing it. That's part of the problem. I don't figure out the optimal route down the mountain. Like there's like there's plan there's planning and there's execution. And right now, like I'm feeling like I'm both. I'm gonna get along with Amanda Beers. She was gay, right? I may take a break from this and try to see it tomorrow.
to hear the lesbian. No, wait, was, was she gay in real life or just on the show? Did she, on the show, she did she marry Jefferson after that? So how was she a lesbian if she married Jefferson? Yeah, in real life, she's gay. That makes more sense. Because Jefferson's name was Darcy, and she was married, so she was Marcy Darcy. Right? Like a stupid joke. 28.79, so I... Regressing? If I could just, like, get in the right place and these slabs would help a shitload. And not do that. I guess I, they added like a ton of, ton of seconds for missing all those things. That was funny, actually. I think I missed like I did. I made one mistake that time. I still only got twenty eight point seventy one. Like literally the only mistake. I made one mistake. Hit the point. Look away at the screen for the whole. Oh, that's not good. It's only 30 seconds. No, don't do that. That's the best score I've gotten, 28.66. I got it once before too, though, right? You see, I don't think that's possible that I got this before. <laughs> I got a twenty-eight point eighty-six, I think. I usually it was twenty-eight point sixty-six. Well, this is definitely the best I've gotten, for, for no matter what. Well, it's, even if it's the same score as last time, it's still the best I've ever gotten. I mean, I got it before, but... He's like Dragster, I think. remember the uh, I gotta remember the pattern that's a big part of it oh that was a mistake I know I did that I feel like Susan to beat you into his Atari joystick. Damn. <laughs> what are you saying now? Is the like, sir I never stop believing you're coming to the slopes is inspiring? Two hours of Atari skiing. Yeah, I'm kidding. Listen, if I fucking beat, like, 25th Ward, do you think I could do this, too? <laughs> I 
Which which you think is more painful? This or like thousand hours of twenty fifth word? It's probably a four because I almost blended up in Alcoholics Anonymous. I drew two hours of Atari skiing. My hands really hurt. How bad are the movement? What do you mean? You have to ask that question a slightly different way. Like how hard is it to control? Extremely. What's creepy pasta? doing that. Maybe around three hours it really starts to feel natural. What's creepy pasta? Listen, if you guys weren't watching, I would I wouldn't keep doing this. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if that's true or not. I did those like all those endings of the twenty fifth word by myself. So maybe I'm just crazy. A scary story written on the internet about something like a video game. Oh did you? I don't I missed it. See, there are things. See, I'm making mistakes now because I'm getting out of the zone. You have to be in the zone to to pull it exactly the right amount. Like no bullshit. Like that. That's fucking the zone. That's not the zone. That's what I'm gonna lose. Perhaps we're living the creepy pasta. I think I'm living the creepy pasta. Ah, that's a bit of a mistake there. If I could really, if I was really much more skilled at this, like I think I gotta figure out how to be more skilled. Not like that. Oh, I was lucky. That was stupid. All right, I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to. Re reaction time is not fast enough. I have to rely on just memory, which is not perfect. Oh, man. Damn. So he goes to the hospital. His head is just looking. <laughs> What causes Atari scheme, maybe. Are you dedicated enough gamers ride to stay until I beat this? That's the real question. Like I'm doing the hard work here. I can't I can't, I can't. Sure. We'll see. I mean, I had a shitload of things to do, but they're not happening, apparently. You stay to the job is like, who cares about that one? Damn. I'm busy thinking ahead too much. I gotta stop at the right spot. Practice stopping there. Mm. 
it's it's basically a speedrun game. So it's like per. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's how speedruns work, right? You gotta be fucking perfect. There. Two, three, four, five, six. Damn! Damn! I was so close! Fucked it up! Oh my god! Oh, that was a perfect run! You know what? Even if I got through there, it wasn't good enough. I don't know if you saw that, but without that... Could someone go back for a second? Like, could someone rewind with before it gave me that penalty? It would have been like 28.37. I still wouldn't have made it. And if that's the case, I'm, I don't know that I'm, that I'm literally at a loss because I didn't even go sideways once that whole run. Did you see that? Did I go sideways even once? I don't understand that. What did I do? What? Am I missing something? You're penalized five seconds for each gate you miss. So that should have been 28.37. If that was 27.37, then I'm okay. But like 28.37. Oh, and it's just the number of gates you missed is one. And I'm confused. Did you see... Guys, seriously, can you... Did I go diagonally any point during that run? I don't think I did. Someone go back and watch that and tell me if I went diagonally at all. Reading his tips again. Like, is it possible I don't get enough... Like momentum out of the gate. That's how I fucked it up. So please check that. I need to know. Otherwise, I don't know what to do to beat it. No diagonals at all. So what? So what did I? So what did I do wrong? So what am I supposed to do? That's how I did. I want to see something here. Hold on. Okay. 
make a if I start off going down, does it make a difference? Maybe it does. That's how I fucked up. That's my best time, though. That's my best time. 28.51. Maybe if I didn't screw up at the end there. It's incredible. Wait, all right. was incredible. Thank you for translating that for me. I, I agree I agree with always to sleep though but more to be so close and then blow it. Ah, why did he turn? Damn, 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 damn. I'm 100% honest with you. I likely like you can't do this. That was so close, too. If I didn't hit that last flag. <laughs> Obviously, I'm getting better, right? Start it head facing down. Nope. I feel like the majority of class guitar towns across skillful high up. Yeah, you used to lack that. You do too, you do well the Nathan Drake shit though. <laughs> I guess it doesn't require too much skill. Is that my best time? What could I have done differently that time? That was that looked like a perfect run. What could I have done differently? I don't understand. I don't understand. How See, now I have a problem because I don't know what to do differently to, to, to win. Like, I feel like I did what it told me to do. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good point, Andy. Perhaps you were able to get you to believe. Keep your skis pointing as straight down the hill as possible. Make your line the trees and gates, cause the position. See that said she is pointing keys with cheap petty gates. Oh, I see. So so it's also distance. Even though like the more you go back and forth, the more time it takes. It, even though like it's counterintuitive a little I mean it's not really counterintuitive, but it's a big problem though. See that it means I have to like clear these things more tightly. Which is really hard, and that's not been my strategy this whole time. And I gotta not do, and I gotta do it while not fucking up anything else. See, so going back and forth is gonna kill me. It's gotta be perfect. I, I think I understand now, but it's really hard. No, don't do that. I thought maybe I could just clear that one. What are the go rages for the last Starfire show up to recruit you three at a mountain? I don't know. Probably soon. <sighs> so you can have a ski in the Humor Ski Championship. You get 28.2. I mean, I, well, I should be, right? Seriously, if I could beat this shit, like, I deserve more than this a patch. I deserve a fucking medal. Damn, that was a mistake.
Is a video filled of real machines say twice? Oh yeah, well, obviously it's possible. It says it says it's Olympic quality though. And also, my question is, how many fucking times did this guy play? Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. I never played this game before today, just to, as a reminder. I don't need to be on the Olympic team. I just want to qualify for the Activision team. No, oh, don't do that. I'm trying to really cut the corners. That's why I'm, like, behaving differently than before. That's not even close enough. Damn. What are we going to collab next? I don't know. When you stop, like, making videos by yourself and, like, call me up and be like, Hey, Stu, how can we collaborate? And maybe when I stop making Atari 2600 videos. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the same score I got last time, right? 28.26? Is that the same exact score? Jeez. I just need to shave off seven. Accept your friend request? Really? I don't think I didn't notice that. I'll check. I, what do I have to get? Under 28.2. So I got to shave 0.7 milliseconds off of my time. 0.7 milliseconds. No, not 0 0.7. 7 milliseconds off my time. Hey, Lester, how's it going, man? That's it. <laughs> Fire gear was damn, I can sell the victory, it's so close. <laughs> yes! Finally! Yes, trying to make the time for a badge. <laughs> and of course, I already purchased the badge, so now I can proudly display it on my chest as a member of official member of the Activision ski team <laughs> woohoo yay and the smoke tank is off there. <laughs> I think they're on oh my gosh I finally official member of Activision ski team yeah yeah I know I gotta sew them all on damn jacket Two and a half hours. <laughs> and I did it legit with a real joystick, too. Oh, my God. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, like, I guess it's possible, in order to get, like, less than 28, you have to be perfect, absolutely pixel perfect, on every single thing. But this was, like, so close to pixel perfect. I mean, you guys fucking saw what I did. Like, I'm sorry. That was... That was nice. <laughs> I'm going to earn all these badges. That's my goal. I want every single freaking badge there is. Except for, I mean, the laser blast. I didn't go for the 1 million. What's the actual score you need to get? Less than 28.2, Gamers Grotto. See, it says right here. We're organizing an Activision ski team. To qualify, you must run Slalom Course 3, Game 3, under 28.2 under seconds. If you break that time, send us a picture of the screen. We'll enroll you as a member. As if you break 28 seconds, here's of Olympic caliber. So, uh, I am an official member of the Activision ski team, and I'm very proud of it because that was a hard, a hard one badge and a hard fourth thing. 
By the way, in real life, I tried to ski, like, several times, and then I realized, like, I didn't enjoy, like, trying not to die, because that's basically what was going on when I was skiing. But, you no, know, Lester, it's possible. you got to be, like, perfect, perfect. you got to be, like, pixel, pixel perfect. Maybe I could do it if I practiced more, but, like... Uh, no, I earned the badge. You know, there's no, there's no badge that says Olympic whatever. This is a badge that's a member of the Akron Ski Team, and that is what I wanted, and that is what I got. So, F you, Activision. F you, Bob Whitehead. I don't care. I got the badge. You know, once, once I'm done with this, I should do a compilation video of all the times I earned the badges. That will be a Stuart swearing supercut. <laughs> because that's, like, after all that... <laughs> That's when I really like sort of lose it, and I'm like, "That's it, f you," and I'm really, <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta do that super cut. Well, like once I earn all the badges, I will. I still have a lot more to go, I think. So, you know which badge is really hard to get, like on the aftermarket, the hero badge, because hero is a game that's very hard to get generally, because most people didn't have it back in the day for whatever reason, and even less people had the badge. There was a it was a badge that went up on eBay. I haven't seen it on eBay for a long, long time, but what went up and the opening bid was $300 and some guy paid like $300 for it, basically. So that's that one I don't know if I'm ever going to get, but we'll see. Right, Activision, tell me you tried my life and finally got it. Activision won't give a shit. That's the thing. Like, if I write to Bob Whitehead, or if I find him on Twitter or something, he might care. But, like, Activision is not the same Activision as it was. Like, it, this... This Activision back to this day was like David Crane, you know, Bob Whitehead, Alan Miller, and uh, who's the other guy I'm forgetting? Larry Kaplan. That, I mean, that's, and, and Jim Levy was the president. That was basically it. Is there a Cosmic Commuter badge? I don't think there's a Cosmic Commuter badge. Yeah, because to your point, that game is even more rare than Hero. Um, there's no River Raid 2 badge either. Right, Activision is owned by Microsoft now. They're owned by Microsoft? Is that like a new thing? A relatively new? Take a picture of the score I said to Bob I did. You guys can take a picture. It's 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 it's, it's for here. It's on YouTube. It's not for posterity. I don't even take a picture. Like go to this Bob Whitehead, go to the time index, whatever on the stream, and uh, you know, you find the proof that I did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm still like I'm still like sort of on a high because it was so much effort. But I I never played this game before today, never played it once. Maybe I played. Maybe I played it for a second. I don't know, but I clipped their curses. But I never, um, I never like got anywhere in this game. I never like played it for more than five seconds if I ever played it. So, Activision Blizzard won the war to buy an Activision Blizzard with Bethesda. What does that mean? Oh, you Microsoft. Okay, that makes more sense. Thank you, Lester. I appreciate it. So Microsoft bought an Activision Blizzard. That's crazy. That's that's nuts. So, uh, wow. So that's scary, actually. So I said this to, like, so to Bill Gates, right? It's not Bill Gates anymore, either. It's, what's that guy, Satyana or something? I don't even know who runs Microsoft anymore. Satya or something, rather? I don't read the news. I, I only read stuff from 1980. I mean, I read lots of magazines, but they're mostly from, like, the 70s. <laughs> I'm like, my news is a little bit further back in time. Oh, my gosh, that was so fun. All right, well, I'll probably never play that game ever again. <laughs> Now that I did it, it's like, oh my gosh. Thank you to all the awesome people who are here to cheer me on, including uh, the people who are still here. Gamers Grotto, Lester, who came at the last minute, Pirate Gamer Boy, Always Asleep, Endy, Yellow Snow, and then some people who left, including... Oh, the, did I, say, I said you the Gamers Grotto, right? I did say you, for sure. Are those like... Uh, those those emojis look like snood emojis, Lester, by the way. I just, that's, I just got this the other day. Did you guys ever play this game? Juju Man. <laughs> Juju. That Juju Man is awesome. Did you guys ever play this this game? Uh, and also, Jim Leonard was here in the beginning. And uh, Pal Puck was here at one point. Dorian Karen was here at one point. Was there anybody else? I think that was it. So thanks to all the people that were here. If I forgot you, I apologize. And uh, if you're watching this after the fact... Make sure you like, subscribe, and you know consider supporting me on Patreon if you want to see me kill myself some more. S Snood is a game that was super popular on the PC back in the late 90s, I think. Maybe early 2000s. I want to say late 90s. It's a game like very similar to the game Bust a Move. 
you have to like shoot stuff out of a cannon and like match whatever but it was a free pc game and um there was uh so that green thing that you show the green eye emoji that you just had over there it looks just like the green one you can see it over here like those green guys they don't, they don't always have that tongue sticking out like that it's like more animated see like that guy's different eyes whatever but um i mean the point is like uh all right so prior gear boys played it and then like they're trying to get you to register the game and there'd always be like a, every like 200 levels you play there'd be like a rhyme on the screen that said you should uh you should register snood so like it's like for example one of them that i remember was like guy made it was dave something or other so it's like dave's kids need clothing dave's kids need food dave's kids need medicine so register snood and then it would go please that was like the only talking it did please puzzle bobble yeah but Paul Bob's, puzzle bobble and Buster move is the same thing right um i've got a thousand subscribers already can i have to get super chat on my youtube channel the answer is no i cannot i cannot be monetized yet either because the reason is because i need a certain number of views in a year-long period and i'm like you need like four thousand no not four no not views four thousand hours of watch time in a year and i have like three thousand seven hundred or something in a year so my watch time needs to increase a little bit before i can get monetized and before i can have actually that's not true because they just recently announced something where there's some smaller tier below um youtube partner or something and i clicked on that but i couldn't find the information there's probably some way to do it puzzle bob is a japanese tower bust move okay cool yeah actually pirate gear boy i bought this this game for watching lgr snoo video i didn't I don't think I realized there was a, a boxed version of it. Once I saw there was, I was like, I gotta buy it. He also knows is back then you would just sit in front of the TV trying to get the patch for like over two and a half hours. No, probably your parents would make you go to bed and you'd probably try it a bunch of times. And then once you got to this point, you'd be like, oh my God, oh my God, where's the camera? Where's the camera? I don't have a camera. Is there filming the camera? I don't know. Like, oh my God, what are you gonna do? We can't turn it off. Like, don't turn it off. No matter what you do, don't turn it off, Bob. Then you're like, I gotta go get some film. And you leave and like, Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I turned it off. What do you mean you turned it off? Uh, uh, what's the matter, honey? Like, you know, you'll play again tomorrow. No, no! Th that's what happened back in the day, basically. I'll never monetize the arena. I'm going, oh, thanks, Lester. That's nice of you. I'll play some old streets in the back. <laughs> I used to do that myself sometimes. Because I, sometimes I, you know, the funny thing is, like, when I when, when I play games and I, and I watch it, when, I, when I'm streaming and I laugh at certain points, like something is funny and I laugh. If I ever watch my old stream and I, I always laugh at the same parts, <laughs> then I'll see myself laughing on the stream and I'll be laughing in real life also because like the same thing amuses me both in real life or both in live and and uh, you know in the past. So I always find that funny. Yeah, they, they didn't have disposable cameras back then, Pirate Gear Boy. Those disposable cameras they were not there in 1980. In 1980, it was like a whole big deal. It was you get like your your film camera, your metal film camera. You make sure the film is loaded, and then you like you know take a picture, and then you gotta go develop it too. So there's like, Bob, we gotta develop this. You can't develop this. We still got like seventy two pictures left of the film. Oh, let's okay, let's take pictures of like the wool. Let's take pictures of my leg. Let's take pictures of the cat. You know, like whatever it is, just to get the film reused up so you can go develop it. And you watch all editing and laugh. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah. I don't do it on purpose, but it's like, it's just, I guess we're consistent. All right, well, that's it for skiing. Um, I should probably, like, retitle the video of, like, I earned the patch or something, but that's, I don't know, I probably won't do that. I should probably change this, the thumbnail to be, like, go like this. But I probably won't do that either. Um, I got another, another arcade, uh, electromechanical arcade game video going up this week. I'll either put it up tomorrow or Tuesday. I may put it up Tuesday just to give this video a little room to breathe and then put that up on you know on Tuesday instead of tomorrow. But anyway, um, thanks for ever being here. Try to keep keep this stuff going. It's like we got we're on Atari and a TRS eighty burn. But I, actually the next the next stream I do is probably not going to be Atari or TRS eighty. It's probably going to be basic games like DOS games that were written in basic. We did some of those previously. We didn't finish them. I got some more to do. <laughs> Always just seems like I should title the stream. Maniac plays skiing for three hours to get patched. That's a good one, actually. And, and but, but as I always say, you know, quoting Star Wars, who's the more foolish, 
the fool or the fool who follows him. That's a wonderful quote. You should think about that always asleep. All right, guys, it's been wonderful. Thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And peace out, everybody. You guys are awesome.